get you all the stocks that are buzzing based on news flows and on technicals. And now on technicals, we have Ashish Kial joining us on the show. Very good afternoon to you, Ashish. Thank you so much for joining us on Market Photographer. And let me uh, turn towards the first stock that you've chosen, and that is HUL. We've seen over the last few weeks uh, a steady up move in the FMCG pack. This after that they had seen a, a huge rise in mid-year term. Where do you see HOL headed from here on? It's had a good run through the course of the year, but do you see it accelerating towards the end of the year? Uh, yes, if you look at HOL, uh, the overall trend has been on the upside. The sector has been doing good. I think the stock should be headed towards the level of 2800 on the upside. Uh, bouncing back from its 10 days average in today's session, so I, uh, this is, can be the market leader over the next few days. So create long positions in HUL for the target of 2800 over short term and on the downside immediate support is at uh, uh, around uh, 2550 level. Okay, keep. Uh, see, I would say over past few weeks it has been consolidating and uh, forming a triangle pattern and after a long time we are seeing a very sharp rise of 5% with a gap up opening and it's sustaining there. Volumes have picked up as well. I think the stock is poised for giving a very strong breakout on the upside. Might be headed towards the level of around 360 on the uh, as the target levels as 360. On the downside, 305 is going to be an important support. So one can create long positions here for 360 as the target. Not really because I'm also seeing a further downside uh, correction possible from here towards the level of 3100. For this stock over past three to four days, it has still uh, giving consecutively red candles and the overall trend remains bearish unless it crosses above its 20 days average which is now placed at 3460 levels. So I think any pullback that you get is going to be temporary and sold into for the target of 3100 on the downside, that's the target level and uh, one can maintain a stop loss of 3390. Uh, you have uh, perfectly pointed out that this stock has been drastically underperforming, not given any kind of return. So I would not try to buy this stock, you know, I would rather look for selling opportunity because from 205 levels, if you check, it has been nearly 4-5 times that it has turned back on the downside. So 205-206 is a major hurdle for Indus Tower. So I think this stock is again headed towards the lower end of the range, which is near 186 level. So we can aim for 186 as long as 206 remains intact on the upside on closing basis. Uh, see, the overall stock has been uh, showing some kind of correction from 320 levels. But multiple support at 280, uh, I would say a triple bottom kind of a pattern from there. And now a break above that 298 level can result into a sharp rally towards 330 on the upside. So I would look for buying opportunity here uh, for the targets of 330 as long as uh, 280 remains intact. 